Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And T-Mobile just released a press release not too long ago, about four or five minutes ago. I was made aware that this was coming uh, two days ago. And this is a big achievement. And that's why I told you guys in yesterday's video that potential intermittent issues could come about because T-Mobile is doing a lot of testing. They're shutting off parts of the network. They're testing. They're doing voice over NR. They're moving spectrum. So you could have some issues along the way. But that's all that, that's all that video was about, that you would have potential intermittent I issues while T-Mobile is optimizing and moving parts of the network. So T-Mobile tops three gigs with world's first standalone 5G carrier aggregation achievement. This is big. This is all standalone mid-band spectrum. Now, if you guys heard in the previous videos, I try to give you guys small tidbits and leaks in these videos. In those videos, in some of those videos, I told you guys that LTE is going to be trimmed and that the Sprint PCS spectrum would all be moved over to 5G. Now, I know some of you are still kind of confused about that. I've seen the documents. I'm telling you guys, this is all going to 5G. So what we have in this testing, N41, 100 megahertz. N41, 90 megahertz. N25, 20 megahertz. So in order for them to achieve the N25 at the 20 megahertz, that means all of Sprint's blocks have been moved to 5G. And of course, this is only doable. 20 megahertz of N25 is only doable in certain markets. Not all markets have access to 40 megahertz of PCS for Sprint. In some, it's 15. Very rare, it's 20. In most, it's about 10. In my market, it'll be 10 by 10. 20 megahertz total. So this is good to see. So I'll show you guys the chart here. Um, well, well, I'll leave the I'll leave the link in the description down below so you guys could see the chart. You'll you'll need an internet connection. I'm on airplane mode right now, so you'll you'll see what each of the megahertz provides. It'll show you what 100 and 100 megahertz, how fast that is. It'll show you the 90, and then it'll show you the 20 when you guys check out the article. So it says the uncarrier fills the need, the need for speed. T-Mobile announced today it was able to aggregate three channels. And this was on a commercial device, by the way, of mid-band channels reaching speeds over three gigs on its standalone 5G network. It's the first time the test has ever been done with a commercial device, Galaxy S22, powered with an X65 modem on a live production network. So this was live. This was all mid-band. So once you include low band, it'll peak some more, won't be much more, but they're going to be able to have some pretty good speeds. Now, of course, in the real world, once all devices get uh, hooked up to the sectors, probably won't hit three gigs too often unless it's off peak. But it just shows you the, the amount of capacity that T-Mobile is going to be able to generate with all of their spectrum. And there's more coming. They still got AWS 1, AWS 3. They still have all other spectrum that they're going to be trimming down very quickly, hint, and they're going to move that to 5G. So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel, follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.